while some businesses on Kavanaugh shut down because of the snow. I'm from up north, so I don't mind uh, getting out in the snow. Jeremy Bragg says a snow day is a go day at River City Coffee. It's been a pretty steady morning. Uh, I was surprised. A little slow at first, but uh, it's picked up. He kept his shop open for Little Rock neighbors to come and enjoy some warm drinks. It's fun to see everyone come in on a snow day. But only if people could get out of the house safely. With inches of snow not yet plowed by the city, it can be difficult to get out when you need to. But two men took it upon themselves to help out. We just want to give them a ride to work or anywhere they have to go. It's a kind and simple gesture that leaves more of an impact. And who knew that all it took was four-wheel drive? Today we're out giving rides and you know, the single mothers out here who need some assistance, some that can't get from their home or some that don't have a vehicle or transportation. Pettis Helping Hand Foundation is a nonprofit that Chris Pettis started less than a year ago to focus on Ward 1 in Little Rock. They're going around in his truck to not only give rides, but to pass out tents and supplies to the homeless they find along the way. So I just want to bring just a positive vibe to the city of Little Rock. Whitney Alfred is out in her truck, too, picking up people who need to run errands around Little Rock. We actually started last year. We saw a lot of people that was down, stuck, bad luck. <laughs> She's helped around seven people so far after getting a bigger and better truck just for the occasion. Selfless acts during an important time for kindness. We just want to help one another. Let them know there's still love in the city, and, and we're just glad to assist any way we can. In Little Rock, Jade Jackson, THV 11 News.